Hello and good morning. Here is the outfit of the day. I'm wearing uh, my BLM shirt. My skirt, I do believe, I, I've had it for years, but I think it came from Ram I think is how you pronounce that. And then my kicks for the day are just some red and whites. I probably need to put some pants on underneath. I don't know. Am I zoomed in or something? Let's bring that out if we can. There we go. That's a little better. All right, so this is my outfit of the day. I think I'll wear my white jacket with this. Yeah. And my white jacket, by the way, is just a cute little plain denim number. You'll see it when I put on. That I, I'm pretty sure I picked it up from Target. As a matter of fact, the children's department of Target. You want your kids to stay warm? As the saying goes, don't meet me there, beat me there. Yeah, you want it a million and you show it. What you want is it really that important? You've been on my mind. When you enter my room, here I've got my desk. It's kind of messy. I've got my tax papers and things like that. That's what's in those boxes. Over there, that's the entrance to my bathroom. We ain't going to show that child. And this is the mirror where you just saw me getting ready. All right, so back to the door. When you look in, here is my bed set up. Um, over here, this chair is actually temporary. I think I want to replace that chair with a with an overnight stand. So I want to put one on each side of my bed there. But um, that's what I kind of just hope to find. What I need to find is right over here, I need to place a chest of drawers because what do I have here? Well, I still have, oh, don't judge me. I still have my little setup. When I lived in my rabbit hole, the closet space there allowed me to just kind of shove this under where you hang shirts and things. So that's what this is. And I just brought it over here while I look for an actual chest of drawers. In the rabbit hole, there wasn't enough space for a chest of drawers. And look at that. Right there, y'all is looking at my panties. Y'all ain't took me on a first date or nothing. I'm already showing you the drawers. Don't call me easy, though. So I also have a poof. As you can see, my room is pretty much accented in yellow. My curtains are yellow and things like that. And then swing over this way. This was in my rabbit hole apartment as well. My TV and my TV stand, I'm going to call it, that I got from Wayfair. I knocked my clock over when I was getting my earphones. It's a cute little thing. has a little fireplace, puts out heat, or if I don't want the heat, I just turn that off. And when I tell you this thing really blows, it blows. It will keep you warm on a chilly night. But yeah, the whole purpose of going out is because I need a chest of drawers to go there. Um, on my bed, which is kind of loosely made up for now, you'll see my tray. And I feel like I need to explain myself. I am a very practical person. So, you know, where you see the girls, the girls have those pretty trays and they decorate their bed and I'm not there yet. All I have is things like my remote control, my Blu-ray glasses, a little equipment that I use, lip balm. Uh, my notebook is under here in case I hear something inspirational. I like to write inspirations in there. Oops. Yeah, y'all been drinking? Okay, there we go. Um, I write inspirations and things in various notebooks for different occasions. I've got some cologne. Lately, I've been sleeping in Libre. I like to smell good, and sometimes I'll just give it a little extra spritz in the air. But yeah, this is pretty much my bedroom set. This is a project that I'm working on where I'm just going to add some family pictures to that. Here, I've got a lamp, some things I need to put up. I mean, it... it I'm not going to say I just, just moved in, but I haven't been here long to set things up. I got what I needed. You know, my bedroom, bathroom, kitchen, those are set. Not my bedroom, I'm sorry. My closet, I throw my stuff in there. My bathroom, which I'm not going to show you. It's a mess. And just the essentials that I need. But all the decorations, you'll see my walls are pretty bare. That's not because I'm a minimalist. It's because, you know, I've got projects to do. I've got, you know, my art sitting in various places whether or not i'll use it i don't know but that's the plan and we'll see plan for today though first and foremost get a chest of drawers because i'm tired of looking at my own stuff it was different when it was in a closet i couldn't see it but now yeah it bothers me each and every time i walk in it's there but anywho let's get in the car we can talk more there and hit the road as it turns out, for the more than 30 minute drive, I ended up getting a couple of phone calls. And although my camera wasn't recording, it was still on. 
and that was enough to start draining the battery. So the rest of the footage for this day is sped up a bit. I'm not looking for this, but this pillow, I don't know if I showed you, but this pillow kind of reminds me of the color scheme of my rug or my bedroom. It's got some grays and whites. And well, I know you lying. $45 for a pillow. Okay. Yeah, this might end up being a quick trip, y'all. I hate I really like that one pillow I saw. Oh, it's not Silver and bone. Kind of like that combination. Ooh, me. For just one. For just one, eighty dollars for one. Girl, I need to get my little happy tail right back in the Marshalls. About to make a compromise. So I'll be between what I want and what I'll pay. Ooh, we. They are playing no games. Probably wasn't even a particularly heavy piece. Y'all see, I didn't bother to pick it up, but no point. I've been digging all back and through and not finding it. This vanillas, hazelnuts. I think I even saw something called dander. I'm not familiar with that. Couldn't have been dander. I must have misread that. Take your time and use your public school education. What does it really say? It says... Oh, elderflower. Okay. Yeah, I didn't look. <laughs> Dander sound like something you're trying to scratch out. But all this, I only found two. Put those aside. One of them's raspberry. Not familiar with that. The other one's strawberry. I'm sure that'll be fine. And then, my daughter's been telling me about these drinks that you just add liquor to. So I might try that. And it really never matters what they say to add. This one says add vodka. Sometimes they say add gin or add whatever. It's going to be tequila. Tequila, tequila, tequila. But yeah, if I gotta add my liquor, why is y'all costing eight dollars? You mean to wrap all these up for you? Would you please? Yeah. Am I near the Nike outlet? To what? The Nike outlet? Am I near? Uh, I think it's in the middle. so I need to get back out and do some more furniture shopping. I went the other day and tried to take you guys with me, but you know how the girls are always saying that, oh, my battery died, oh, my battery isn't long lasting enough and all this other stuff. Well, I always thought it was because, oh, they've got 90 minute vlogs. So if they've got, in my mind, if they've got 90 minute vlogs, then they probably recorded for what, three, three and a half, four hours or something like that. And yeah, maybe then the battery does die. No, boo-boo. I was in the middle of talking in my car, and my battery died. Now, mind you, it wasn't fully charged, but I want to give it, like, it was It was more than 50%. So I thought that would be long enough. And I ended up, um, when it died, I have the adapter that I charged it in my car for a little bit. Then I could get this footage, charge it again, go to the next stop, get some more footage. But anywho, I'm fully charged today, and I'm still going to buy a dresser. I think I'll be able to include some of the clips from the previous day into this mini vlog and that should explain why I'm getting a dresser and even give you a little tour of my bedroom so you guys don't need that right now okay I did not get to pick up the phone immediately when I got in the car because I was talking to my girlfriend but I am so glad to be taking my exit right about now because people on the road is driving mighty crazy and I don't even understand it to me, it's not the biggest deal in the world. I feel like 
we all make driving mistakes, right? So road rage is a thing that I don't quite understand. Like people bearing down, oh, you, I'm going to get you, I'm going to get you suckling and all this other foolishness they do. I really don't understand that because like I said, we all make mistakes. That being said, why when you're on the highway expected to drive approximately 70-ish miles per hour because that's the limit on the highway, why when you see your exit, do you immediately hit the brake hard? You're still on the highway, my guy. So why are you smashing down on your brakes so hard? You're trying to do 40 right here on the highway. You and all the people behind you, I guess, are going to have to do this 40 because you want to get off on this exit. When you have this long stretch of road on your exit, to me, ooh, the potholes is, oof. I couldn't even avoid it because this car is on the side of me. I don't like that. But anywho... Why would you go down to 40 miles per hour right then and there on the highway when you have this long stretch of road called an exit that you could be reducing your speed on for when you actually get to your exit? I, I don't understand that. That's utter confusion for me. But still, I don't have road rage. <laughs> Anywho, I'm on my way to first return this stuff to Ross and then, or Marshall's, Yep, Marshalls, that's what the bag says. I know how to read a little bit. And then I'm going to go to Bob's Furniture Outlet. That's part of the footage that I had the other day, but I couldn't really see it because my battery was dying. I couldn't talk and film and all that stuff. So I got a feeling I'm going to end up getting one of the chest of drawers that I saw there. Even though it's not my favorite, I did go on to Amazon and I looked there, which I don't even I don't feel a way about that. So I got to buy the chest of drawers here, which let me get over it because these chest of drawers are like the cheapest deal I've been able to find. And if I don't know if I can include it in the footage, so I might be repeating myself from previous footage. But it's like um, chest of drawers, first of all, are very expensive. I don't know why. And then I'm getting this one is the best deal I was able to find. And even with me buying the handles from Amazon, it's still going to be the best deal that I've been able to find, so I need to not complain. I do complain, though. <laughs> I know. I'm always looking for something. I can, but I'm also critical of myself, so hey. But, yeah, we'll do that. And then hopefully I'll have enough discipline to not buy anything else in Marshalls. Oh, ooh, I'm lying. I'm lying. Because now I've tried Cremo. Love it. I've... It smells good, not just as you're taking the shower, but it the smell permeates throughout my bedroom and everything because my you know my bathroom is right there in the bedroom and I smell it. it smells so fresh. So if they've got that, I'm gonna get a couple of them. And my skin didn't even react. Like I said, I'm not claiming sensitive skin, but my skin does react to quite a few products in a way that I don't like. Itchy and irritation, red sometimes. But I don't have sensitive skin. I just have skin that reacts but it did not react to cream oil, so yeah we don't have to get us a couple two three more of these so just walk straight down the lane because i just i just want to i just want to drive it's the road not the sidewalk thank you buddy but anywho that's what i'm going to do there and i'll pick you guys up when we get in there okay i think a lot of times people miss out on some of the things that they have here at Marshall's, but I'm looking at this pattern. Um, they've got the shampoo here. Of course, that's the Tracy Ellis Ross brand. Then they've got, uh, she, I've used that for years. They've got some Carol's Daughter Fortifying Shampoo. They've got quite a few little things. It's a matter of kind of looking through and seeing what you find that you might like. I've heard a lot about Aunt Jackie's. Now, I actually never use this one myself but I hear it's pretty good and I don't know what it normally goes for in stores or you know the other stores but it's $7.99 here so that's interesting I feel like I've also heard of Mario Badescu but it's $8 here Still holding on to my return bag because the line is long. And I'm thinking if I see something else that I want, I'm not standing in that line twice. So 
Maybe it looks a little sketch or sus for me to be walking around with my hat. But that's exactly what we're going to do. Yes, we are. As usual, we're going to check in to see if they have any of my syrups. And as usual, the answer is no. I have to go back to TJ Maxx. That's where I found the sun before. I'm loving if I could also find some pillows to finally finish up my bed. But I don't like this pair. But just like I'm able to reach right over and touch it, the thought of everybody else reaching right over and touch it, touching it is a turn off. I'd rather it be packaged up or something. But yeah, they've got a couple of choices. That's not bad either. Down low, I feel like, man, how much dust? Speaking of dust, look. Look at that one. I don't know if you all can see it on there. But yeah, when it comes to things like my photos and whatnot, I would rather they be packaged. Okay, so I have to come right back to the men's department. And they still have it. Okay. Yay, I lucked out. We got one more. I'm getting two. So they still got that one left. Now I'm starting to wonder, uh, why y'all ain't getting the one I got? Y'all know something I don't know? Oh, okay, I feel better. I've got some more right down here. Why are you making me feel like that? Y'all yeah, know something I don't know. Well, I like it. Now I'm just looking at shoes, because my plan to double around and then hit the line didn't work. The line is a whole lot longer now. I like this shoe. Simple little white shoe, but I already have a pair that's very similar to that. Then my um, Amazon Converse inspired shoes, so I don't get that. For some reason, I find that trying to wear actual Converse doesn't work on my feet. Something about the rounding that doesn't work with my toe. Uh, let me get out of here. I'm not going to buy any shoes, so let's hop in this even longer line. I just feel like the legs need to be a little, I don't know, have a little more oomph to them. I even like it in gray. I feel like if I got yellow, which I absolutely love, it would just be too much yellow bouncing off and around in my room. But again, you know, 300 bucks, I'm going to need a little more stability in such. <sighs> you know, needless to say, I didn't find any overnight stand, so it looks like I'm still going to end up going with, like, I mean, I see that one, and it would go with the chest of drawers, but it's just too bulky, and I don't want to pay $400 for two of something that I don't even want to keep long. So I guess I'll just stick with this chest of drawers here. And I'll swap out the handles for the ones that I see on Amazon. This dresser is the true white that I want. And I even like that it has this compartment up here. I don't know if it's coming off on camera, but of course it folds down. And it's a mirrored top that once folded, you know, you wouldn't even know it was there. Yeah, hundred I could probably tolerate to pay, although I don't want to for temporary furniture. Well, between the handles and the feet, the feet are terrible to me. I can't stand that. So I don't know. I guess I'll go with that other one after all. All right, I'm done with this and hungry, so time to go. Shein crop sweater. It's a nice little cowl neck. I haven't featured this in a try-in haul, but I'll sure try to get around to it. 
the jeans that I have featured and as you can see there's that no gapping that I was talking about I think it's very flattering my K crossbody purse again featured in a coach haul and earlier today I was talking about those Amazon Converse dupes well these are they in yellow and then finally I've got my dark blue um, denim jacket that I'm going to wear where did I get at Target? Say it with me from the children's section. You already know. But anywho, I am going to head on out. I'm already running late, and I will see you guys probably in the car. Y'all know me. Oh my goodness. Why was I feeling like I had all this time in the world when I didn't? I'm out. Furniture shopping. First of all, that furniture shopping ain't gonna cap. That took a long time time because you got to tell them 50 11 times that you don't want the insurance and the this and the that like it took a minute and then after we finished okay I ain't gonna lie I might I might have I might have been responsible for a little bit of that time too because get this he told me the furniture salesman was like uh, when I finished up with the order and everything he said okay now it's gonna take about two to three months to get your furniture ain't gonna take me two to three months to pay why is it gonna take me two to three months to get my furniture I'm paying now I kind of wanted at least reasonably close to now which I guess they thought that was reasonable so once he told me that my mind starts changing y'all saw my little janky dresser set up you know why my mind changed so my mind is changing and I start looking at other furniture okay so does all the furniture ask him a simple question I thought it was simple does all the furniture take that long? Oh, no, not all of it. I said, so there's furniture that doesn't take that long? Because I've heard of some people, especially post-pandemic, uh, buying things that took them six months, a year, nine months, all of that. So when he said, oh, no, there's furniture that doesn't take that long, cool. That's the furniture I need to be looking at a little bit closer. So I said, uh, what about that one? He looks it up. Uh, that's going to take four to six months. We getting worse not better how about that one uh, that's gonna take three to five months that one uh, that's gonna take two to three months also okay so now I'm out of options which brings me back to my same old one where he said two to three months so now I'm like okay well which one is it and he said oh it's the furniture that you said you wanted no my guy which one is it is it two months or is it three there's a difference I, I want it now I feel bratty saying that, but it's the truth. Let me see if I can up that a little bit. Nope, I can't. But I do. I want it now. So, anywho, I'm going to have to wait for two to three months on that. That took a minute. The service at Chatters was pretty slow. So, I was willing to order. You know how they got the little kiosk things on the table, whatever you call them. I'm willing to order off that. There's no battery in there. My waitress is slow. The food service was slow. The drinks were slow. And you know I had two. But whatever, I'm finally on my way to my girlfriend's house. We're going to a comedy show tonight. I had like a no time. Did my usual, put some pressed powder on and, cause I really don't do makeup. I, I call myself doing some lashes, honey. Lashes is makeup to me now. But I add a little pressed powder and some lip gloss and lip liner. But I, that about it. And, and I ain't even sure to press powders my color anymore. You know how you got those winter shades and summer shades. But we're going to roll up out the door with it now. And I put on, it's a little thin. It looks like a whole lot in the camera view. But it's a cow neck little thin sweater that I got from Shein. But it's a crop top. So if it's something you think you're going to stay warm in, you are sadly and sorely mistaken. Right now, it's about... 68 60 whatever degrees and oh wait yeah 68 degrees but you know the sun is out so by the time we're done with the comedy show i think we're going to see mike Epps and some other people i can't name by the time we're done with that of course it's going to be dark and it's going to be much colder and i don't know what we're supposed to do afterwards but this is some jeans anywho rushing late I can't even say as usual. The only reason I'm late today is because I already knew my purse was in the car. So I'm like, mm, I ain't gonna sweat it. And then I jumped in the car and totally forgot my what? My cell phone. And my cell phone has my ID, my credit card, and all that stuff in it. So I had to go back to get that. 
but that's what made me late. I already let my girlfriend know, too, that I'm late, so we'll see how the evening goes. I hope the comedy show is funny. A lot of times people say these comedians tell the same jokes live that they already told on Netflix. I ain't seen his Netflix special, so we aight if those are the same jokes. I'm just hoping they're funny.